Okay, so in this video, we're going to walk you through how you can export. So I'm going to come in here to the project, Farmer and the Dale. Now I want you to notice that I am in the timeline view. And when you're in the timeline view, you're going to have this icon over here on the right hand side called export. When you click on it, you have two options. You can export it from Microsoft Word or export it to Scrivener. You can also come over here to File, Export, and then you'll see the same two options. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click over here on Export, and I'm going to click Microsoft Word. And it's going to give you the ability to title it. So I'm going to go ahead and title this Farmer and the Dale, and I'm going to click Save. And what you're going to see is it's automatically going to have exported that for me. And if I can double click on it, I can open it right here in Microsoft Word and I can show you kind of what it looks like. One of the things I do want you to notice is it actually, when it exports, it applies the styles. So heading number one is, uh, is the title of the outline. Heading number two is the chapter title and then heading number three and then you get the normal. So if you're used to dealing with styles in Microsoft Word, it's one of the nice ways uh, that Plotter exports it is by keeping that style. It does make things a lot easier and if you're concerned about accessibility, it actually is great for that purpose as well. Now, in addition to the outline that you have input, it's also going to input that other information towards the bottom. So you're gonna have your character section. Again, it's going to have your pictures, it's going to have their names, and any of the descriptive information that you've entered about your characters. So I'm going to just scroll through. It also puts in the places, and again, the information that you have included about the places within your story. And if you have any notes that you've added, it's also going to have that there. A lot of people love being able to print this out and having it in their laps when they're writing. Others just like to have this to refer to. It ultimately just depends on what your own personal writing preference is going to be. So again, it's nice that it exports it right there to Microsoft Word for us. I'm going to come back in here to Plotter. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do an export and I'm going to export it to Scrivener. And I'm going to again title this Farmer and the Dale. I cannot type. There we go. And it's going to come down here and you're going to see that we have a new Scrivener file there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come into here, here, my Scrivener file and I'm going to go to Open. And I am going to go to my desktop, which is where I actually have this located. So I'm going to find the plotter course, which is what I titled it. And there is my Scrivener file. Now I am using a uh, version 3.0 that just came out. So obviously it's going to want to update my project for me, which is perfectly fine. So when you get in here, what you're going to see is that you're going to have your manuscript file over here. And if you click on it, you're going to see that you have your chapter information. Uh, you don't necessarily immediately see where everything is located. All that information does get exported. It's just you kind of have to go into Scrivener and you have to know a little bit about how Scrivener works to be able to find where it is actually put all of this stuff. But it all does get exported, even your notes. Um, the notes is a little bit different. It, it actually exports your notes, um, including the characters and places. So it just puts all of that in that one section called notes. Um, so again, it is nice because, again, if you're someone who likes to work in Scrivener, it is nice to have that ability and have all of that information there for you as well. Um, you also have, again, you can go through and you can add more information. And again, many people actually like to write right in Scrivener, and you can actually do that as well. So again, if you're someone who likes Scrivener, this is a great tool and a great way to be able to use Plotter and be consistent in how you are handling your plotting per uh, practices. So I hope that you have enjoyed this uh, video.